the first step to this process is to sand down the wood on the chair so that it's a little bit rough so that the spray paint or stain will adhere much easier to the chair. Valerie asks that I do this uh, wooden stain, but I don't have the energy to go to Home Depot to get anything. So I'm just gonna use what I have, which is this pure gold spray paint. With this method, as I was spraying the wooden part of the chair, it didn't matter if some of the paint got on the fabric because I was gonna be covering it with the moss. So very simple to do, quick and easy. So this is the pure gold spray paint. Once this dries in about an hour or two, I'll come back and start this third phase of this. The supplies are simple. You have the chair, you have your glue sticks, and you have your moss. So this, if you can see, is 20 square feet of the super, they call it super sweet moss. And I liked it because it looked, you know, very fresh, just dried, but not extra dry. I don't know how you describe it, but they had others that were very, very um, brown. And hopefully this will cover the whole chair. So this came from G&G &G in um, Saddlebrook. This is the progress we've made so far. And of course, we're going to have to trim it and clean it up. To make the job go a little bit quicker, I decided to use my little one, my seven-year-old, to help me cover the chair and she did a pretty decent job. Eighty percent done, but I ran out of glue sticks, so I am going to make a trip to AC more later and finish this off. Then you know, of course, add some flowers or something cute. <laughs> 